A coalition of interest groups in Nigeria says it has shelved its initial plan to drag the name of a country's central bank governor, Godwin Emifili, through the mud in the wake of money laundry allegations against him. The group, composed of the Northern Leaders Coalition, the League of Professionals for Good Governance and Accountability and Transparency Africa, had planned to halt activities at the Apex Bank and the Foreign Missions by declaring the CBN governor a personal non the group was also desirous of inciting the northern leaders to go against the governor and call for his immediate arrest based on allegations levied against him by the Department of State Services, TSS. However, speaking at a press conference on Monday in Abuja, the spokesperson for the coalition, Binga Gonzalo, tendered an unreserved apology to Amifili, saying that the allegations had trumped up charges aimed to sacrifice him for some section of political class and pledged to walk in concert with the central bank governor to ensure that the monetary policies get to grassroots and also for the betterment of all Nigerians. I will wait the detail of what was made available to us against the CBN governor. We have come to a realization that we all we are acting on wrong information and we hereby tender our own South apology to the CBN governor for getting involved wrongfully and joining forces to call for his arrest and removal from office. This action we sincerely regret and apologize. We by this officially call off and cease all planned actions against the CBN governor and all other anti-CBN groups to join hands in supporting the creative and dynamic governor of CBN and its policies. This should also serve as notice to places we have written to regard, disregard our request and provide necessary protection for him if the need arises as we discovered the allegations and trump up charges aimed to sacrifice him for some section of political class. All political class is hereby want to desist from fake news and blackmail as a way to ensure free, fair and credible election come 2023.